I'm the only one in my family at this very second that uh, my kids are married and has mm-hmm. and have kids. So I'm the only grandma, really. And so I don't know. I'm I'm pretty proud of that that fact that this little woman. How is a, a newlywed life treating you both? Well, I mean, I think it's treating us great. Uh, mm-hmm. It feels comfortable. It feels new. I keep learning about Chris and each other and, you know, stuff. And we keep adjusting and you'll say compromising. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so far, you know, no big surprises or anything that I wasn't prepared for. Uh, so, you know, it's, there's obviously still a little bit of a learning curve going on, but we're, uh, you know, we're enjoying life. We're having fun. and I better shake it up a little bit. No. <laughs> 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 what would you say is the biggest adjustment or biggest compromise that you had to make? God, that's a tough one. I would really have to say, um, for me, probably not falling into what he would call bad habits mm. and just making those adjustments. I'm a little more chaotic. I'm a little more messy. He's a little more orderly and neat. And sometimes those will clash. But I'm trying to, you know, move here and he definitely is, you know, moving here. So, you know, give and take a little bit. Yeah. Well, I mean, for me, the biggest adjustment is just sharing a space with somebody. I'm so mm-hmm. used to having control over my own space and what it looks like. And and uh, so, yeah, that's been a big adjustment to, to share that and know that somebody else uh, does things differently than I do. <laughs> right. And that's OK. <laughs> that is OK. What's the best part about being married? Oh, I think just sharing the small moments together, you know, getting up in the morning, having a cup of coffee. What are you doing during the day? And, you know, sharing a meal together. I mean, sometimes it's a lot about the small moments. I mean, we're getting ready for a big motorcycle trip riding up to Alaska. So that'll be something new in the sense that'll be our longest trip that we've done together. And so, you know. Yeah. And for me, life is just... uh richer and more interesting mm-hmm. sharing those day-to-day things mm-hmm. and and uh becoming closer with amy's family and mm-hmm. grandkids and uh it's just um really added a, an extra element uh, to my life that i never had before yeah i mean looking back at your wedding is there anything that you wish you could have done differently yes um <laughs> I personally think I I wish I would have tried to convince Chris to do pictures ahead of time Mm -hmm. and that would allow us more time with everybody. Um, It goes by so fast. I don't think I went around to every table just to say, hey, thank you. At least great to Mm -hmm. see you. I'm so glad you came to our wedding. I mean, it just goes by so fast. And I think the biggest thing is he did great on his vows. I was like almost crying. Um, Cut my vows. (laughs) Tremendously. <laughs> and from five pages down to one. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, well, how are you? Pages, well, five pages was because I didn't have glasses on and I had to make sure I was able to see it. Uh, <laughs> Big print. I love it. Um, you know, this season um, of the show, Matt revealed that he was looking at the security cameras while the wedding was going on. What was your reaction to that? Well, um, you know... <laughs> What I've learned about Matt is, did he say it for camera? Did he really do it? Is it real? Is it true? I mean, whatever. Um, So I thought that was like, okay, I I realize we're on your property, but hopefully you did not do that. (laughs) I had no problem with it. I mean, we've always known that he's had uh, cameras on the farm. I've always known that. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's always had them around for good reason. You know, he's he's gone a lot and it's way of Mm -hmm. checking in and, and I had no problem with it. It's not like we did anything inappropriate or anything that we didn't want Matt but to still, see. But still, I wanted I, that to me. I had no problem with it at all. In fact, I thought I was kind of touched that he cared enough that he wanted to, you know, see what was going on. I, mm-hmm. I, I thought it was great. And to that point, you know, I've lived on the farm for a number of years, especially after starting the show. We did start installing uh, some cameras, like mm-hmm. to give us a view of, you know, surrounding our house, like in the back property and, and you know, by the gate. And because a lot of people can enter that farm in you know different ways. 
I mean, we're kind of off the road, but you'd be amazed. People still do it. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm definitely sure. I mean, the four of you seem like pretty close this season. You know, we're going up for dinners. Chris, you're doing tours on the farm. I mean, Amy, did you ever think that that would happen? Um, no, I did. I, I did not. I mean, I've talked to a few friends. I think, you know, doing television, you know, has kind of propelled me in a situation where I probably see Matt and his girlfriend, Karen, probably a lot more than I ever would if it, the cameras weren't around. But, you know, Chris helped me a lot with that, too, because, I, you know, I had to, like, you know, calm down whatever I may be feeling or thinking because I didn't want to put that on him. And I it also kept me in check because I'm the mother. I've got four kids. Um, I know a little bit how my kids may feel, but I also don't want to be that mom that downgrades their dad every single time I'm with them. So there's certain things that I, you know, I, I had to definitely out of respect and out of adulthood, <laughs> keep things in check. And regardless of what I, I may feel or think right now, but I also think it's, it, it's a process. And in order for me to move forward from, you know, doing this thing for what, 14, 18 years, 16 years, or whatever it is, 23 seasons, um, you learn to, you know, do that. Yeah. Chris, is it ever awkward for you? You know, it, it really hasn't been very awkward. I mean, it's, um, you know, it's, it's actually, for me, it's very easy to be around Matt and Karen. We always seem to have good conversations. We communicate well. There's mutual respect. And um, so it, it hasn't been odd or awkward for me at all. Yeah. Do you think that the two of them will get engaged soon? And if oh, you yeah. are, yeah. Oh, yeah. You do. It's coming. Yeah. yeah. You know, they've talked, you know, I, I mean, they've already worked out a lot of the details except for the official uh, down on one knee uh, proposal. But yeah, it's coming. I'm sure one day they will. Well, I mean, it's just, you know, getting certain things in line and, you know, I who knows, but yeah, I'm sure it'll happen. Yeah. If you're invited to the wedding, will you go? We won't be invited to the wedding. <laughs> They're, they've already said that when they do it, it's going to be a small deal. And, mm -hmm. and you know, um, I, I certainly wouldn't expect it. I mean. I definitely don't expect it, yeah. and I would prefer not to. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, joking, uh, if there are security cameras allowed and you're able to get those peaks, will you be looking at the security cameras? I would. I would. <laughs> no, 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 no. I would ask Matt. I'd say, Matt, can I put up a camera and watch? I bet he'd say yes. I'm sure he would. Um, Chris, we see you doing some tours on the farm this season. How was that? You know, that was a lot of fun. I just, yeah. uh, I really enjoy just, you know, uh, new experiences, trying mm -hmm. something new and different. And um, and that was something new and different for me. I'd never done anything like that before. Mm -hmm. And, you know, having a, a little bit of a connection to the farm uh, made it more fun. And uh, where we met. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So it was, uh, you know, the first few times uh, there was a learning curve there that was a little frustrating for me. I, I, I hate stumbling in front of other people and, and but, uh, by the end, um, it was just, I was just winging it and having fun. Yeah, it looks like you had, it looks like you had a blast. And, you know, speaking of the farm, um, a big storyline so far this season is Matt and Zach kind of having a little bit of a falling out over the, the selling of the property. I mean, what was your reaction to that, Amy? And was it, um, was it hard for you to, to watch that? Well, you know, it was uh, uh, hard for me to watch. I, I don't know a lot of the details of the negotiation that went on between Matt and Zach. You know, I've heard little pits here and there. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, so I'm just sad that it's, it's come to this. Um, parts of me is not exactly surprising because I've dealt with Matt o over the years and he can be tough. He can be grinding. But I also think, you know, um, whatever the expectations were from both of them, they went out the window. Maybe, you know, they, they obviously did not sync up. And but, you know, I, I've said it in the episodes uh, before. Matt is still the father. He still, quote, the adult. I don't care how old your kids are. Sometimes there are things that they may need to learn. But um you know, as an adult, you may, as a father, you may have to take the higher road. I don't know. Yeah. What What was your reaction when you found out that Matt is selling part of the farm now? 
Well, my reaction was if if that was part of the negotiations, I can see where some of, you know, this stuff went south mm-hmm. because in the kid's mind, you know, where they grew up was the 33 acres. He's only selling half right. of that. And, um, and that's tough. I mean, you know, you always, we, we've heard over time, this is going to be part of the family. This is going to be the legacy and all this other stuff. And now to see the end result with a for sale sign, I mean, change happens. It, it's it's not always good. It's not always happy, but eventually maybe this will be a step where we can all move forward and see how we can all come back together. Yeah, definitely. Um, were you disappointed that Zach and Tori decided to move so far away? You know, I, I was sad because it's so nice to be like 10 minutes away from them and stop by for 15 minutes, you know, and then be on your way or, you know, to have dinner with them or them to come over here. It's like 15 minute drive and stuff. And so that perspective, how convenient mm-hmm. uh, them moving to Washington, you know, it's more of an effort. You got to plan for it a little bit more. Uh, but I, I I've kind of learned from my parents, you know. We, we, we don't do everything for our kids once they become adults because we don't know what happens. They need to, to do what was good for their family, what was good for each other. And, you know, we'll make it work. Yeah. You know, I was talking to them yesterday and they said, you know, when Josiah was uh, being born that you had to go there at like 2.30 in the morning. Oh, yeah. And yeah, it was, uh, but it seems like they're adjusting well to life as a family of five. You know, uh, they, they are. And, you know, over time, uh, who knows, they, they they said that that will probably be their forever home or at least a home where they raise their kids. And, you know, we'll see what happens. But, um, yeah, I mean, you make it work uh, when they gave, when they called me, you know, that's early in the morning. I was like, well, it's going to take me at least 45 minutes to get there. Do I have like 10 minutes to put a bag together? Because <laughs> how soon is this, you know, water broke? You know, is she like. Are you leaving now? Right. <laughs> um, how are Jeremy and Audrey adjusting to a family of five as well? Oh, I think they're they're, they're doing fabulous. You know, uh, Audrey, just similar to Tori, you know, they're pretty independent women and, you know, really together. And um, I think they're doing great. Yeah, you know? that's great. And have you noticed that Matt and Zach's relationship has been strained since this happened or are they kind of getting back on track? You know, um, I, I don't know exactly what's going on between them right now, but yeah, I, I definitely think it's it, it's a little tough. It's a little challenging, and I think that's a process where if 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 you're hurting or frustrated or whatever it may be, I don't think anyone should expect it to be overnight yeah. that it all goes away. I think it's a it's a process to learn how to manage it, deal with it. But I, I think in in time. You know, he's he's the father, he's the grandpa. They'll manage it that way and, and you know, move forward, I hope. Definitely. What's the best part about being grandparents? Oh, I think for me, I think the best part is remembering my kids at that age and how quickly it goes. Yeah. And, you know, remembering, oh, I'm going to be over there 15 minutes, a half hour later. They're just saying, well, we're on our way. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember that because... You think you're going to be ready, but when you're, you know, corralling three kids and getting in the car, remembering the diaper bag, the wipes and, you know, all this other stuff, it, it you know, it ends up being chaotic. I don't know. I, I, uh, I'm the only one in my family at this very second that uh, my kids are married and has mm-hmm. and have kids. So I'm the only grandma, really. And so I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty proud of that, that fact that this little woman mm-hmm. um Got four kids and seven grandkids. I I feel very blessed, very, very fortunate. And my kids are doing well. The kids are healthy. So, yeah. Thank you both so much. I really appreciate your time. And congratulations again on the show and newlywed life. I love it. Thank you, guys. All right. Thanks. Bye. 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 Everyone, I'm Christina Garibaldi, the host of Us Weekly Celebrity Coverage. Don't forget to hit subscribe for the latest celebrity news, tips, and video. And for much more content, make sure you head on over to usmagazine.com the official home of Us Weekly magazine.